We're going to do a quick tips, easy math versus my keto. Um, this course is going to go through um, easy math and Makito. It's going to assume you know Maven, how to use Maven, how to find out from the Maven repository, the J unit, Makito, easy math, spring core, beans, and test. Uh, obviously, it assumes you know how to write a J unit test. Uh, it's only going to cover rudimentary Makito and easy math, but it will give you enough to get up and running. Um, so, what is easy mock and Makito? Um, they're a mocking framework uh, which facilitates uh, test driven development. It gives you more reliable code. You can write your test first and then make sure your code matches the test. Um, what's the difference between a unit and an integration test? Well, a unit test is just going to test a given unit of code in isolation. An integration test goes beyond that and goes a little bit further into other areas like testing whether service A connects to service B, connects to service C, and so on and so on and so on. Um, so there's a, the term you need to be aware of in, this is going, in the process of writing your own test is going to be unit under test. Uh, this is very important you understand it. It's basically the class and methods you want to put in your unit test. Um, you will use mocking frameworks to simulate complex parameters or any injected variables that are auto-wired into the object. So let's go through the basic steps to create a mock test. First, you're going to determine the unit under test, the code you want to test. You're going to determine what the parameters are for the object, input and output. And if you need to use reflection to inject a mock for some of the variables that are auto-wired or injected or private variables. Uh, you're going to create these objects for your testing in your JUnit setup, and then you're going to actually run your test to get the results. So for the purposes of this example, we're going to use a very simple POJO. Basically, it's my class. Um, I have an auto-wired private field, uh, and then we have my method. So I'm really looking to test my method. I've made it very simple. Um, I purposely made it depend on that private field so that a typical normal JUnit test would not work. Um, so you have to use some sort of mocking to get it to work. So let's go through that real quick. Um, so here's what the JUnit easy mock code would look like. Um, this is the actual involved test that you would be doing. In this case, you can clearly see uh, line four, uh, you've got setting up your actual unit under test. This is the class I want to test, my class. Line seven identifies the injected service that I'm going to inject into there because remember it's a private variable in my class I need to do something about that so I'm going to create a mock for that generally any auto wired private variables you want to create a mock for so I set up my mock for that um, using easy mock create mock and then I tell easy mock hey um, I'm going to call my mock the the exact method of get x and here's what you can expect to go into that. So that's why the easy mock expects. You got to tell it what you're going to be doing and what you want it to return. In this case, I'm going to have a return the numeral one from that particular function. So anytime we we call this uh, the service from within our program, our test, it's going to return one, provided that it meets the parameters that are required. In this case, a string. So if I send it a one, obviously it'll error. Then I'm going to use reflection test utility springs. Uh, product basically to set a particular field, in this case <clears throat> the field injected service, which is uh, located inside my class under test, and it's located, it, the variable I'm going to set into it is the injected service mock. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm, which is required by easy mock, is I have to replay, in other words, reset the individual mock so that it's ready to be used. So I do a replay and I tell it the Name of the mock, if you have several mocks, you could obviously put commas and put them in there. Uh, then I'm going to actually run my test. So I'm going to call my method. Uh, and then it should, if everything works correctly, be able to return the verified uh, functionality. Verify will tell me that it did, in fact, call the mock uh, successfully and it worked. And then the assert equals will assert the result from my test. So let's take a look at that and compare that to the Makito. Keep in mind that the key steps here are going to be uh, somewhat similar. They're going to create your own instantiation of your unit under test. You're going to inject into that test uh, a mock for any private auto-wired fields. Uh, then you're going to um, use reflection or some similar utility to uh, set up that field to be ready to be returned. And then you're going to actually call it and verify that it worked. 
So let's go to the next slide, which is going to be the Makito. So Makito is a little bit simpler in that you don't have to do a replay. And actually, Makito offers uh, another neat function, which a lot of this stuff can be put into annotation, and you can actually get away with these spring utilities reflection test yields. Uh, so we can talk about that in a minute. But basically, here you've got, again, creating line four. You're creating your unit under test. You're creating your mock, uh, line seven, uh, with the mock command. Then uh, Makito uses a win command. So injected service, get X. It's looking for any string, and then it returns. Uh, and enters your one. Uh, again, just to make them compare it, I left the two examples the same. You can, again, use Spring to set the field that you're going to use, in this case, injected service, which is located on the instance of my class under test, and it's going to be injecting into it my injected service mocks from line uh, seven and nine. Then you're going to run your test, line 14. Uh, you're going to verify that it ran, and you're going to do an assert equals. Fairly simple, straightforward stuff. So let's take a look at the summary steps that you're going to need here. Then we're going to look at the actual code. So the easy thing to remember, kind of a rhyme, if you will, or a phrase that will help you remember the two different approaches, easy mock, create mock, expects and returns easy replayed mock. Uh, the Makito is the Makito bird can mock when flying and then returns due to verify. So it's trying to get you to remember the, the syntax, if you want the two. The steps are ver basically the same. Uh, easy mock is the same seven steps here. You can save this and print it out if you want. Six steps for Makito because it's one less. It doesn't have to do the replay. Also, Makito, you can get rid of step four in Makito if you use the annotation in Makito, which is um, you can do inject mocks, uh, which will basically Makito will automatically find what mocks you have and inject them into the proper field. It's kind of nice. And you can also use the uh, ampersand, uh, excuse me, the at sign mock when creating a mock if you want, rather than using the exact uh, dot mock. So that's that's helpful as well. Okay, so let's go look at the actual code now, and just so you can get a rough idea of how it works. I'm doing that same exact code here. So you can see I've got my class, uh, I've got my injected service, which is auto-wired. Um, the result here is fairly straightforward, and you can see I'm using my injected service, which I just you know, basically created something for the test here just so that it returns something. In this case, it returns the number two. Uh, you'll note in our test, I purposely mocked that up as returning a one just so that you can see that it's working. Uh, and then I have my class test. So basically, here's the two tests right here. Uh, they're fairly straightforward, exactly the same ones. We're going to run them both just so you can see that they both work. Hang on a second here. We're going to do, uh, whoops. Go here. Let's go here. Run as JUnit test. And I'll go in a second. And we should see a green down there if we've done everything correct. And we do. So we can clearly see that these two work. Feel free to use this example. There are many functions and features of both EasyMock and Makito that I have not covered here, including stubbing and some more complicated scenarios, but this should give you the basic to get yourself up and running on your test. The, the key elements, again, uh, in summary, let's go back to those. Right. So again, here's your summary steps. Um, please feel free to print this out and use it. Good luck to you.